Hello students, welcome to Jaitiv Academy. My name is Kranti Kumar. I am physics faculty here. In the previous class, I discussed about the concept of the vectors and scalars. And also I explained how to calculate the scalars. And I also discussed how to calculate the vectors if vectors. If they give the two vectors, how we have to add those two vectors. Now we are going to learn how we have to subtract or subtract those two vectors. Let's learn how to subtract two vectors or subtraction of subtraction of two vectors. See here. So in the previous class, I explained addition concept, right? I explained addition of two vectors. What is that? Let's take a vector A and vector B. If I, I, if I add these two vectors, I got vector A, sorry, I got vector A and this B should be add, this tile should be add at the end of the head like this the result is this is the vector a and this is the vector b and the resultant should be tail and end of the head this is the resultant vector and that implies vector a plus vector b Similarly, now I am explaining same two vectors in subtraction concept. See here, subtraction, how to subtract two vectors. Let's say I am taking same vector A, but now I am taking this B vector in opposite direction. If this vector is going this direction, that is the B vector. If I rotate, if I uh, reverse this B vector, it is coming in this direction, that is a uh, negative vector B. That is a negative vector B minus. How we can add? Similarly, here, here, I am using the addition concept. Same way. I have to add these two vectors. How? Take a vector A. This is a vector A. Right. Tail of the vector B should always touch with the head of the vector A. See? This is a tail of vector A, B and this is touch with the head of the vector A. So this is a minus vector B. The resultant should be also with the tail of the vector A and the head of the vector B. This is the resultant. The resultant should be this is resultant. Okay. The resultant should be A vector plus minus B vector. That implies Vector A minus vector B, see here, this is the subtraction of the two vectors concept. Like this. Now come to this uh, equation. Vector A, addition of of minus B vector, which equals to vector A minus vector B. This is the formula of the two vectors. This is the graphical method of the subtraction of the two vectors. And this is the this is the formula of the addition of the two vectors. And this is the graphical method of the addition of the two vectors. So, when in the problem or in the question in any textbook, if they give the vectors like this, 
you have to imagine yourself these two vectors into the graphical method. If they give the vectors in the form of the graphical method, immediately you have to imagine yourself these vectors in this form, like a formula method. Hope you understand, right? Next, so we already discussed vectors of addition and subtraction. Now we have to learn based from those addition and subtraction, we have to learn some basic rules that is called rules of vector calculus. Calculation, calculus or calculation is whatever we can call because we are using these calculations to calculate the vectors. What is the first rule? First rule, take first rule vector A plus vector B which equals to vector B plus vector A vector B plus vector A this is commutative law this is commutative rule sir what is commutative rule you can ask here let's take for example I am explaining this vector how I can write this vector Okay, let's, I am taking here only. This is vector A. Okay. And this is vector B. The addition of these two vectors are vector A plus vector B. Now, I am taking this is vector B. Okay. Now, this is vector A. I am interchanging those two vectors. The addition of these two vectors or resultant of these two vectors are B plus vector A. Carefully observe here. Here I take vector A, vector B. I interchange the two vectors. In the place of vector A, I take a vector B. In the place of vector B, I take vector A. Whatever the vectors I am taking, the addition should be always equal. This is the concept of the these two vectors. Okay, this is called commutative law of vector. A plus B, A, A vector plus B vector is nothing but B vector plus A vector. Let's take a second example. A vector plus B vector plus C vector which equals to A vector plus B vector plus C vector. This is called associative rule. Associative rule. If you take, first add these two vectors, the resultant should add with A vector or take first A vector, B vector and add this result into C vector. The both results are equal. This is called associative law. This is called associative rule. Okay? Hope you understand. Next come to the uh, another one. Rule number three. If I take a vector A, I am taking the same vector, but this is in opposite direction, and the resultant should be vector A minus vector A. That should be null vector. Okay. If I take two vectors. These two vectors have same magnitude, but both are in direction, like this is the vector A and another one is the vector B. Right? This is also vector A. If I add these two vectors, the resultant should be, those two vectors are cancel each other and the, other, the resultant vector is a null vector. This vector is called, this vector is called, this vector is called, 
null vector. Null vector is already zero vector. Null and arm is zero. So this call zero. Null and arm is zero. So this call zero vector. Okay. Let's take rule number four. Let's take rule number four. Wait, 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 wait. Correct. Let's take rule number four. What is rule number four? Vector A. Plus null vector or zero vector, which gives a vector. And fifth rule is vector A multiplied with zero, zero value, then we got zero vector. Sixth one. If I multiply. Uh, sorry for the disturbance. Okay, let's uh, come to the topic. So six one. If I take a zero vector, I add this zero vector with any constant lambda. I got the value of zero vector. What does this means? What is this zero? Actually, take a zero vector. What does this mean? Take one, or we can take two. Or we can take three, any number. We can take any number. What does this mean? Number, nothing but a scalar, right? Right. This is the magnitude. This is the number. Number is nothing but a scalar. So here, here, lambda is scalar. Scalar is nothing but a constant value. Okay. So if I Yeah, zero vector with any constant value. I got only zero vector. Now seventh one. See here, vector a plus minus of plus of minus b vector. I got a vector minus b vector. But but be careful. But note, note the point. Note, this is very important. What is the note? See, a vector minus b vector should not equal to b vector minus a vector. B vector minus a vector. A vector minus B vector, which is result to B vector minus A vector, just the value. So these are not equal, but addition is equal, subtraction is not equal. And so another one, another one, A vector minus B vector, we can make it is equal when minus of B vector minus A vector. Okay, this is right. So we can make it a vector minus b vector equal when when we can multiply b b vector minus a vector with a negative sign. Then only these two are become equal. Otherwise, the resultant should be not equal in both conditions. Okay, hope you understand. These are the Rules of the vectors. If you know these rules, so now uh, if you know these rules, we are going to solve in the next class the multiplication of the vectors, and also we are going to solve one-dimensional vector, two-dimensional vector, three-dimensional vector, vector resolutions, and also we are going to use some one uh, most uh, <coughs> exciting uh, example and uh, our daily life example that is a projectile motion. the projectile motion is an example of two dimensional vector or you can call it as a application of the two dimensional vector so before going to uh, explain all those topics 
if you not understanding this addition of vectors and the subtraction of the vectors and uh, a multiplication of vectors i am going to explain in the next class if you not understanding these two three topic it is very difficult to understand uh, vectors concept in the one two and three dimensional also projectile motion also okay hope you understand don't forget please read and study yourself and be practice and we will meet in the next class uh, thank you very much